Hi guys, a very good evening. It's me, Jeff Ignacio. Thank you so much for subscribing. For those who have yet to subscribe, what are you guys waiting for? It's me again, Jeff Ignacio. What a long day today. Thank God it's Friday, so I'm gonna have my weekend and I need to clean the room, fix this and that. And anyhow, I am going to continue with my reaction today. I am going to react to Shura and Wani Hasnita with their song Nazam Burkase. Alright, so thank you very much. In 3, 2, Loving the melody, guys. Pandang-pandang hati tergena, tidur malam wajah terbayang, renung-renung hati keliru. Siapakah di hatimu? Jeling malu memandang, dua mata bertentang mata, harap-harap ulang bertemu, bimbang nanti resang menunggu. Guys. It's uh, Wani Hasrita and Shura with Nazam Berkasi. Whenever I do reaction, I don't like to compare. So you're not going to hear me like, oh, this one is better, that one is better. No. Everybody has their equal share of strength. Um, they are beautiful in their own way. They're vocally strong and whatnot. All right. And um, I really love both singer sound-ish. However, um. <clears throat> think Ashura it's more probably because of her seniority and she has been in the industry for a very long time even though she like like stopped probably on and off I do not know because I do not know much about Shura but oh my Shura's voice is so traditionally driven it's like you listen to her voice um the melisma the voice control and how she project her sound it's really good it is something that probably Wani Hasrita can learn from their seniors you know and Wani Hasrita who, or whoever is like venturing into traditional song they can probably put Shura as their uh, what they call as um as somebody that they can learn to to how to sing uh, so-called proper traditional songs yeah Very clear pronunciation, guys. Mm. Very beautifully done by Shura. Mm. Oh. This is good for Wani Hasrita, guys. Oh, I was really good. Mm, beautiful. It's like, um, you know, I think it's because it's um, smooth, so you can see the Hawani Hasrita like as if, as if, yeah, she did not actually put like much effort to do it. As And for me, I look at it like it's it's very natural of her, very natural of her to do this. And she sound good, actually, you know, seriously, she sound good. It's just that she probably can make it even uh, traditional-ish, I must say. That's what I'm uh try to say to you yeah like i said i'm not comparing between these two as you know shura has been in the industry for a very long time and one has rita maybe three four years i do not know because i don't follow both of them but honey one has rita is very new to me so like i said one has rita likes that kind of like relaxed laid back kind of singing and uh yes she sound good but like i said if she probably put more she can sound even much better. 
this one now is already good. It can be better or probably the best in the future. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good performance. I mean, singing. And remember, they are singing using smule. Smule, they just sing smule, yet they can sound this great. Can't imagine if they perform this live. Very well done, Shura. Oh, the Lisma is killing me. Very good. Very nice. This is nice from what he has to do. Like I said, the way she sings is like she's just so relaxed, you know. Can't imagine if she just even like later explain. It's very hard to explain now. <laughs> Peace at the end. Guys, that was Shura and also Wani Hasrita with the song Nazam Berkase. Both of them did a terrific, terrific job in, in singing traditional song. Like I said, um, Wani Hasrita is more like laid-back kind of thing and for Shura, she really put that, that trademark in her voice into that singing. I can't imagine if both of them produces um, one traditional single song, I think it's gonna be great. And uh, I love to react to traditional songs or I love to listen to traditional songs is because of my background. I'm a traditional dancer and, and uh, it's it's like embedded in me to like traditional songs that's why even though i am not malay but i love traditional songs <laughs> what am i talking about i do not know but um it's there will always be a difference of um the, the you know when you're actually putting yourself as a traditional singer and also to just sing the song so um these two amazing like i said wanita pula wanita hasrita if she can i mean she just like relaxed laid back and if she put more i'm not saying she didn't put effort she did but it's probably a bit of lacking i must say if she put more because she was like you know like so relaxing singing where as as you know shura her ability in this traditional song is very strong that's why it's like totally i can sense the difference between these two and like i said again i am not here to compare who is better who is not believe me both of them is good it's just that probably putting effort i'm not saying one hasrita did not put effort maybe that is how she is singing and this is the first time that i actually reacted to her so i apologize if um i i say the wrong thing but uh, what i'm trying to say is 
yeah you can see the the, the difference all right so what am i talking about i do not know but i applaud these two at such a, especially Wani Hasrita at such a young age able to sing traditional songs and we need more and more more and more people to actually mempertahankan memperjuangkan these traditional songs because we do not know what will happen in 10 years 15 20 30 50 years time whether traditional songs is still available or anybody is going to hum to it or sing to it we don't know but from Siti Nohaliza, Siti Nordiana, Shura, now Wani Hasrita, who else? Okay, Akai Bahar, who else? Alright, so that's it, my reaction. Nazam Berkasi, uh, Smule by Wani Hasrita and also Shura. I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye.